let's assume that we have this extension function inside of a string extensions.kt file. And this extension function extends a string class and allows us to grab the initials. So if we were to have something like this, have a string that says Don Felker, the output would then equal DF. It would just grab those initials. So it's not a very robust function, actually it could be quite error prone, but for simplicity's sake, this is what it does. If you pass in a string with a separated by space, you'll get back the initials and let's just assume it's a name. Okay, now if you want to call this from Kotlin, of course, we're very easy, we can do that. So we, let's assume we have a customer here and the customer has a name property. So again, if we go look at what a, a customer is, it's we have a customer class. So it's a very simple data class. Now, if we have a name, a name is a string, as we can see here, and we can just get the initials off of the name. So that's, you know, pretty easy in Kotlin. So now we have the initials, we can do whatever we want, it makes sense. However, there are times when you would like to call these extension functions from a Java file. The question is, can you do it? So let's assume that we have this Java file that processes customers and in this method, customer from social. Assume we are retrieving a customer profile from a social API. And here we have the customer object. Now we want to use the user's name. So of course we have get name, which is generated for us. Now, if we were to type initials, we're going to see that it doesn't exist because extension functions don't exist in Java, but we can still use that code that we'd wrote in Kotlin as an extension function. And previously, if you've worked inside of Java, you've probably written a lot of helper functions and they've been inside of basically static classes. And so what we'll go ahead and do is the string extensions file actually generates a file for you. So this is a top level function. It's not inside of a class at all, but it does generate a file for you. And so if we type string extensions, you'll see string extensions and then KT at the end, string extensions KT. And then there's a static method called initials and you pass in a string. And now you can get your initials. So you can say string initials equals and this will call into, if I go to the definition, calls into this extension function. So this is how you can call into an extension function inside of Kotlin. So any extension function you have, you'll want to look up the actual file name. Now there is a way to modify the file name using the JVM name annotation. And I'll show you that in another video. But if you want to call into any of your extensions, so if this was just called extensions.kt, then in that case, it would just be extensions kt. So it basically slaps the two letter kt at the end. And then at that point in time, you can access it just as if you did with a regular helper function that you may have traditionally built inside of Java. And that's how you call an extension function from Java.